Hello, welcome on my channel, Wolf Aqua, your channel about horticulture, aquaponics and aquaculture. In this video, I'm going to explain you the differences between a coupled and a decoupled aquaponics system and let's go! In a classic aquaponic system, the main idea is that the water goes from the fish to the plants, the plants take up the nutrients, clean the water and the clean water goes back to the fish. And that is what is considered as a coupled aquaponic system. Because the fish production is coupled to the plant production and the water is flowing like a one big loop from the fish to the plants and back to the fish. However, in a decoupled aquaponic system, that's different. Here, the water flows from the fish to the plants, through the plants as vapor in the air and back to the atmosphere. So the water is actually flowing like a, on a one-way road from the fish to the plants. But why should somebody split the cycles? Well, depending on what kind of plants you grow, it can make sense to add certain nutrients like copper to your water. However, copper and other metals can be already very toxic in low concentrations to your fish. So in this case, it can make sense to split the cycles in between fish and plants. Another reason to split the systems is because you can optimize the water parameters for both sides of your aquaponic system, so for the fish and for your plants. So what do I mean by that? In a classic aquaponic system, you always have to make a trade-off between clean water for your fish and nutrient-rich water for your plants, at least to a certain degree. The same accounts for other water parameters, for example the pH. The pH in a normal hydroponic system is usually a little bit more sour, so we, there we're talking about a pH value of 5.8. But in an aquaponic system, in a coupled aquaponic system, the pH is more on the neutral side, so between 6.5 and, and 7. The reason for this is the bacteria in your biofilter and the fish like more a neutral pH environment. To put it in a nutshell, you can adjust the water quality parameters much more freely in a decoupled aquaponic system compared to a coupled aquaponic system without making any compromises for your fish or for your plants. You can allow your fish very clean water with a very low nutrient content on one side and on the other side you can have for your plants uh, water with a lower pH and certain nutrient elements that might harm your fish. But is that actually then still aquaponics or more like an integrated aquaculture in the plant production or a hydroponic system that is powered with fish water? Please let me know in the comments what you think about it. Is it still aquaponics for you or not? Or is it just a fake aquaponics? What's your opinion? I'm very curious to read your comments. During a conference from the European Aquaculture Society in 2019 that was held in, uh, in Berlin, there were whole sessions just about aquaponics. And there it became clear for me that even in science it's not clearly defined what is aquaponics and what's not. Publications from the University of Rostock, from Professor Palm and others, suggest that it's depending on the nutrients that you get from the fish for your plant production. So, meaning like, okay, if you get 50% for example from your fish for your plant production, then it's okay to call it aquaponics. However, if you're having less than 50% that your plants need to grow from your, coming from your fish production, it's not aquaponics anymore. How would you define what an aquaponics system is? Would you make it depending from the amount of nutrients the plants get from the fish? For me, that sounds very theoretical and in practice difficult to measure. I mean, you need quite some testing and lab analysis and a solid mass balance to ensure that at least 50% of your nutrients are coming from the fish. On the other hand, that's only an issue if you're running a decoupled aquaponic system and still want to be called an aquaponic farm. In a coupled aquaponic system, that's way less of an issue because the majority of nutrients are already coming from your fish. And here you only add minor nutrients to your water, like iron and maybe some potassium. What matters for me is that we combine both production methods, so aquaculture and hydroponics, in an effective way to increase the resource efficiency. From my point of view, even a decoupled aquaponics system is more sustainable than each of the other systems on its own, so aquaculture or hydroponics. Why? Because we utilize the water and the fish feed twice, and on the other hand, we need to mine less nutrients for our plants. I support both types of systems. However, in a strict commercial farm, where each gram per produce of square meter matters, I would recommend to utilize the decoupled approach of an aquaponic system because you can more freely adjust the parameters in the water for your fish and for your plants. But please don't get me wrong, also a coupled aquaponic system works fine and can lead to very good results. I mean for small scale applications or for home backyard applications, a coupled aquaponic system can produce a lot of food for a family. I mean even on my homepage you can see several aquaponics projects that I did during the last years and they were all running as a coupled aquaponic system. And there you can also see quite some tomato plants that grew very well and strong and had a lot of fruits. 
Thanks for watching. I hope you could learn something from this video. If you have any questions or feedback, just post in the comment section below. I would be very curious if a decoupled aquaponics system is for you still aquaponics. And it would be super motivating for me if you leave me a like, subscription and ring the bell for my channel. And then I hope to see you for the next video. And ciao!